Hi guys, we're at ECBTN and today we're going to react on Eurovision 2022 entries. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. So this time it will be all about the United Kingdom. The country has chosen internally with collaboration with Tap Music and the BBC Broadcaster. The winner is the singer Sam Ryder with his song Spain. So let's see whether it takes us high up to the sky or not. Uh, starting this time with Neil. Wow, I'm really divided about this one. First of all, let me say, I think the song is phenomenal. The song is crazy good. It reminds me of the best rock ballads of the 70s. Like, you know, from the highest level, Ringo Starr, etc. Really, 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 really good. Um, unfortunately, I'm not really getting into the hype about some, you know, in person. I feel that at some point, even though he's, he sings fluently, like he's on, in notes, but I feel that sometimes he pushes a little too much and it sounds uncomfortable for, for a few minutes, even though the whole package works. It looks like he's a great singer. He sings from passion and he's super talented. I just, I'm, I just need like a fine tuning between be a little overrated with the singing, a little too much. I will just lower it a little bit. Obviously, I'm very curious about the staging because we are promised and we haven't seen the rehearsal yet, but we have promised like something really, really different. So I'm very hyped to see what's going on to be on Thanks the uh, live. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, but it can definitely skyrocket. And I want to say, you know, if we were talking about Germany, like what you should do next, that's exactly what you should do next. We know the UK wasn't very successful in the last few years. And this is exactly what you need to do. You need to rethink. You need to think what you're doing better, how you improve, and just to nail it with a better song next time. And well done for the UK. I really appreciate that. And thank you for that space, man. Thank you so much. Excellent. Let's move on to Van Gils. Yeah. Uh, well, Sam Ryder uh, is a great vocalist, definitely. Uh, he has a very sweet character, charisma. He's so charismatic on stage, no doubt about this. Um, as for the song, it's okay, not my favorite. Um, a little bit indifferent about this one, actually. I think it's like, yeah, could do this doing better than their last years of United Kingdom, but it's still for me base a bit basic as the last entries like my last breath embers uh, bigger than us or even storm uh, those five entries for me are quite the same uh, yeah but i think his vocal uh, is saving this for as a song it's just indifferent for me not bad not good Arnes, what do you think about United Kingdom. I'm actually uh, positive about this one. Uh, my favorite UK entry uh, in years. I like a spaceman. It reminds me a uh, little bit. Reminds me of uh, Elton John, uh, Rocket Man. Same vibe, uh, but very modern, very revamped, and different lyrics. Sam is a fantastic vocalist. Even if he pushes his vocals beyond his comfort level, I appreciate it. But honey, take a rest. 
Um, I'm really curious how the staging, and I believe this is going to be UK going to do well this year, even though um, Embers didn't deserve zero points last year and didn't deserve her last place. Didn't deserve it. Neither this year. So actually, it's a really good direction that the BBC, that the BBC and I mean the broadcaster and the UK as a country has taken. Really looks like someone has not someone, but a lot of people sat together and took the really good decision. Actually, you know, he, he was a TikTok star. This is the way he started his career. And sometimes, you know, you use the wisdom of people. Like if you go on viral, if he was viral, notice COVID, right? I mean, popular, then uh, of course it can be a good sign at Eurovision. And yeah, I, I believe it will be a good sign. Great vocalist, one of the one of the best male vocalists this year, I believe. But I just a little bit afraid that he's a more vocalist rather than performer. If you know what I mean, I mean, I haven't really seen him comparing the stage with personality, although he, he has some personality. So yeah, I really hoping for a meaningful stage, but please don't put him into a spaceship and make it fly something. No, okay. yeah, it, it will be too, way too cheesy for them. Then. Yeah, that's, don't, don't make it a cliche. Exactly. Uh, you say too cheesy, but please check the UK staging for two, two version 2007 with the uh, uh, air, airplane, etc. It was horrible. Song, but and two big trumpets. Yeah, yeah, as well. So <laughs> they can, I mean, the UK, I must say, can do really bad with staging sometimes. I hope this year it will be, it should be, if you ask me, very like equal. Not too simple, but not too complex. Take it mm -hmm. everywhere as you wish. Maybe l l when we work with Let's Screens and that's it. Uh, yeah, but basically, good song, very memorable one, best vocal, best vocal that I could ever, ever ask for them. I, I really love his long and high notes, and yeah, I just hope he will slay in, in live performance, but I believe he will. Wonderful, really appreciate this one from the UK, well done. Now, time to give scores. Near. Eight. Mangelis. Six. Cards. This might be gonna shock you, but ten. I'm not surprised. Well done. And for me, it's uh, eight. I think yeah, solid eight. Uh, okay, now for the last question: La left side or right side of the table? Currents. Left. Oh, this is refreshing to hear from the UK. Neil. Left, no doubt. Vangelis. Quite sure it will be right. Mm -hmm. I think left. But let me reduce the hype. I, I, I don't see it as a potential winner. I'm sorry. No, no, no. He won't, he won't win, but definitely going to be left. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, the best case that I'm seeing for now is something like fourth or fifth place. But this is the maximum. I can't see it doing the top three. I don't know. I'm sorry. Not because I have something against the song, just because I see other songs that can do much better. Okay, so Sam Ryder from the United Kingdom will perform in the grand final of Eurovision 2022. Let's wish him good luck. Guys, please subscribe to our channel right here below. Follow us and you can find us on pcb.com. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.